Hello again and welcome back to my playthrough of Starfield. Thank you so much for joining me again. Ah, we're back on this cool planet. I, I, I think I think it's so cool because every other planet I've been on so far, uh, aside from Jemison, is um, very dry and kind of barren. And then this one is so wet and full of vegetation. I don't know. It's just just has a different vibe. I'm digging it. We're heading in that direction over there because we see there's some life signs over there. Uh, it's making me a little nervous because we're getting further and further away from my ship. Now, the truth is, is that I can just turn around here and, um, you know, instantly travel back to my ship. But I'm going to assume that I can't do that if there are enemies nearby. So I'm going to have to be a little careful because there are some pretty scary creatures on this uh, on this planet. I'm gonna run around here and just pick up iron as I see it. Why not? Something over there. Is it just chlorine? Ooh. Autonomous Dog Star Factory? Interesting. Uh, scan. Anything interesting in range? Ooh, we've completed a survey. We oh, we've surveyed all of the all of the resources we can survey. Okay, that's cool. So now we just have uh, more fauna and more flora. So what is this place that we just found? Autonomous Dog Star Factory. That's interesting. Cave over there. Life signs over there. So, Dog Star. That. Should that name be familiar to me? I'm not sure. already scanned this moth vine and in fact I'm not seeing anything new to scan and it does say uh, biome complete by flora so I don't know if that means I need to go to a different part of the planet to find more flora it probably does mean that but um, I gotta tell you man I'm curious about this factory here What is this place? Sarah, what is this place? What's up there? Something up there. Some kind of light. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know, it looks like a tower or something up there, maybe. I hope there's no baddies here. It's autonomous, so do you think that there's robots here that are going to attack me? Oh. Robot Model A. Well, speak of the devil. Dead, I say in quotes. Oh, this is really... Oh, robot model A. Oh, we definitely have robots here. Let's see, what am I going to pick up? Uh, I don't need that. I'll take the cartridge. Take this injector. Restores two health. Hey, Sarah, would you come over here for a minute? Sarah, come here. Okay, Sarah, come... Sa okay, never mind. Stand there, then. So, let's see here. Sarah? Yes? Um, let's trade gear. Bring me anything useful? So, I had mentioned that I had given her, um, other weapons, right? I gave her this Lawgiver, and I also gave her this Modified Urban Eagle, but she insists upon using this Modified Equinox. And then somebody pointed out that... She has like a plus something in lasers. So that would explain why she continues using this later laser rifle. And I'm okay with that. That's kind of cool. I guess I can't see... How can I see my companion's... So long. Like stats right now. I mean, can I? Um, I don't think I 
can from here. Wait a minute, maybe I go to ship and then crew and then Sarah. Okay, so yeah, she's got three pips here in lasers, so I guess that's why she insists upon using lasers. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. Okay, we got a robot walking around over there. Are, are these robots going to be instantly hostile? Probably. I mean, they're probably here to protect this place. And what destroyed this robot, I'd like to know. Oh, he's scary looking. So this robot has a comm relay on it. Okay. I mean, I don't want to just start shooting and the off chance that this robot isn't going to attack me. But I think we all know that it's going to. I mean, is it? Here's one over here. Hello, robot. Can we be friends? Hello. Hello, robot. <laughs> I have no idea if he's going to be friendly with me or not. Leave the area immediately. This is your last warning, he says. I see, I see. Okay. Well, he gave me a warning. He gave me a warning. That's fair. Um. Up oh, and here we are. We're already in. Oh, oh, who's he shooting at? I mean, it didn't seem like he was shooting me. What? Is, oh, what is he shooting at? Oh, that's gonna be me here in a second. What that big red thing is right there. So how do I feel about this? I feel like... I feel like I'm going to leave. As cool as this place is. This place is obviously still in use by someone or some, some entity. Oh! Crap. Sarah. Man, I, I swear I was leaving. I really was. I was leaving. Well, Sarah... Ah, oh, crap. Sarah's in it now. Can I see her health? Boy, she took him out. Great. <laughs> she just saunters away. <laughs> Sarah. Okay, so what I was what I was going to say is that Yeah, uh, this is tough. If I just went in there, and just destroyed the robots and just took what I wanted, how am I any better than pirates? How is my character any better than pirates? I, I don't think he would be any better than pirates at all. Now, these abandoned places that I come across, well, they've been abandoned. She destroyed two robots. Sheesh. Um, anyway, uh, the abandoned places that we came across, well, they were abandoned. And so, they're free game. But this place is obviously still being guarded by some entity. And while, of course, you know I want to go in there and explore it, I'm... I, I, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not a pirate. I can't justify it. And that's what makes trying to roleplay interesting, in my opinion. I mean, e even the fact that I just now walked up and just helped myself to some stuff that I found, even that's piracy. And I shouldn't have even done that, because this place is obviously not abandoned. So, yeah, I mean, if I really, really try to do this role-playing thing, I cannot justify... It's glowing up there. Just helping myself to that stuff that belongs to somebody else. Let me know your thoughts. What is glowing up here? What is this? Just some glowing... I don't know. Moss or lichen or something on this. Look at this. Now my scanner... 
doesn't even register this. Which is a shame, because this is like the coolest thing I've seen. Life signs are still a bit in that direction. What is... That's fascinating. Oh, well, there's like embers here. Something's burning, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go over to these life signs. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, hopefully those are the herbivores that are up there. And not the ones... Take everything you need? What do you mean? From what? Tell you what, Sarah certainly didn't have any problem destroying those robots. Ooh. Here's one of those flying dudes that I need to scan more of. I'm not sure why... Okay, I guess I'm still too far away. Okay, we scanned him. That's 88% Mayfly filter is scanned. Ooh! 100%! Nice! Okay. I don't need to scan these herding cage brain herbivores anymore. Okay, so we scanned all those guys. That's awesome. And these herbivores, they're a little skittish, but they're not going to hurt me. Uh-oh. Hunting crickets. Oh, boy. Here comes trouble. Um, I mean, I really don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these high-level crickets. And I don't need to scan them anymore. I've already scanned them. So I'm going to... Yeesh. I'd like to just give him a wide berth. But it looks like he's coming down the hill here. These guys are going to ruin all my fun. I want to get to these life signs here without getting killed or hurt. And I also don't want them to hurt or kill whatever those life signs are. Here's some aluminum. Ooh, there's some more iron over there. Might as well get it. Where's this tantalum? Tantalum. Crap, there's a hunting cricket. I think there's one over this hill. Okay, there's one up there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's a long way down. You sure it's safe out there? You know what, Sarah? I don't know if it's safe out there. Ah, oh, jeez. Hunting cricket right there. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Oh, look how straight down this is. This is cool. Oh, there's stuff down here. Is it crickets? Mass geologists. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Let's do an F5 here. Hey, man. I'm going to take your med pack. You don't need it. I'm going to take your stuff as well. I'm sure you would have wanted me to have an unexplored chemistry feature. Something I'm supposed to scan. Okay, that's the herbivore. Herbivore. Oh, dung pile. Well, I'm trying to scan it. Whoop. Okay, I just took some stuff from it. Unknown feature. Oh, unknown feature. Lush Grove. A dense spore cloud leaves mind-altering residue on plants and rocks. Okay. Never he- oh, that's also- Okay. Mayfly filter flying around down here. Um. Is this the life signs that I was coming to? I think it is. I think this was the life signs, but they're not alive anymore. Is 
What's going on over here? Fungal Grotto. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Oh. I probably don't want to walk in that. I already said it was mind altering. Well, I mean, I... I guess these were the life signs, I guess. Maybe those masked dudes were alive for a while, and now, unfortunately, I've arrived here and found out that they're not alive anymore. Fascinating. Uh-oh. What was that? I guess he just makes noises. Whoa. Okay. This is really cool. Um. Well. Thinking I should go back to my ship. And then take off and land someplace else to visit a different biome, maybe? That's my guess. I mean, it is true, there's a, I mean, there's a cave over there, but it is still kind of far away. I mean, do I let myself get distracted by everything I see? Um, the answer to that is yes. I guess this marker on my compass is the life sign. Fortunately, if I look at my map... Lush Grove. Okay, so I guess the Lush Grove was the life sign itself. Oh, look at this. Partially explored, 33%. <laughs> Mining outposts, structure. Here's our frontier. Oh, we could fast travel to our ship from here. Unknown. I thought it was a cave. Okay. And then a structure. Huh. Alright, back out. Well, maybe there's something in the cave I need to scan to get 100% of this planet. That's my uh, logic in going to this cave. Ah, jeez, hunting crickets. Really don't want to deal with those. Really don't. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, this place is just swarming. Two hunting crickets over there. Bunch of dead... These things. I mean, may as well go ahead and loot them. Oops. Oh, I hope we find a use for that before it spoils. Really? Things can spoil? Sure are a lot of... Dead dudes around here. They do, those those herbivores don't have a chance against those crickets. Not even a chance. <laughs> Look how far away we are from our ship now. I want to stay away from those crickets, man. If I can. Big ol' pile of chlorosilanes. Kind of fun walking around in the dark. Oh. Okay, there's embers there. I have a light. But I actually kind of see better without it. I hope this is coming across okay on YouTube. It's probably too dark. Oftentimes. If not every time when I record... The recording on YouTube is darker than what I see on my screen. 
Oh. Cricket. Cricket. Cave. 87 meters away. Can I get to it before the crickets get to me? Luckily, these herbivores are over here kind of keeping their attention. Cave right down here. Cricket right over there. Oh gosh, I hear. Oh jeez. Where's the cave? I'm going in. Oh, I'm going in. I'd rather go in the cave than fight the crickets. Oh. There's a mayfly filterer in here. That's actually a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping we would see something else in here. Okay, another herding cage brain herbivore. Well, there's nothing different in here than there is outside. Aside from the fact that it's cool looking. Oh. Well, that's disturbing. Still gonna take your stuff, though. So that's an herbivore, huh? If you say so. Yeah, this is neat. I don't know what that is, but I probably want to avoid it. He's dead also. What's this? Pick that stuff up. What do you think, Sarah? Are we going to find something horrifying in here? Something that'll kill me dead? Let's hit a five. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Something up that way. A dung pile. Who, um... Whoa. Holy mackerel, there was a lot of stuff in that dung pile. Ugh. That's disturbing. Okay, this, um... Oh, it does look like... It comes around this way. Do a little bit of mining in here. A little tantalum. Can you mine, Sarah? Can you help me mine? I don't think you can. Nickel! I don't think I realized Nickel was on this planet. Nickel, we need that. If we want to make an outpost or an extractor. So I wouldn't mind finding more nickel, I'll tell you that. So these chlorosilanes in here, I don't know how to pick these up. I mean, I thought that, you know, I have to build an extractor. Does that mean I could build an extractor inside of this mine or a uh, cave? Okay, so we basically just made a circle come back around to the entrance, which is kind of neat. Well, <laughs> do we go further into this cave? Yes, we do. Oh, boy. The sky? No, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. We're at 73.68% scan on this planet. That's pretty good. Oh, is this a dead end? I guess this is the whole cave. Well, I don't know if I'm relieved or disappointed. Maybe a little bit of both. Disappointed because I was hoping we'd find something really cool. Relieved that I'd, the cool thing that I found wasn't something that would take a bite out of me. I guess this is it. Okay. Ah. 
Kind of neat. Tantalum. More tantalum. Well, Sarah, should we get out of here? Thinking we should. <laughs> Which way did I come in? <laughs> here I think yeah right here well ugh, are those ants gonna be out here waiting for me or crickets or whatever no they're not they've moved on okay I'm gonna bring up my scanner well or am I am I gonna stick my head out here and loot this thing Find anything useful? a few things oh okay hunting cricket over there Somewhere over there. There's the lush grove we came from. There's some tantalum up there. Hunting cricket. Okay, let's test this out. Sarah, move. Frontier, fast travel? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. All right, we survived that. Let's uh, take off. And land on, I don't know, the other side of the planet? Land at a different biome, maybe? Okay, so. Unfortunately... I don't know which side of the planet I was just on. Well, I guess I could... Okay, so we were on this side. Here's the mining outpost. Here's a landing area. So let's go on the sunny side of the planet. I don't know, maybe near this fracking station? What do you say? Let's do it. So I'm, I feel like I'm enjoying this while I can this being exploring a planet because I kind of gathered that after you've done about oh I don't know 10 of these you've pretty much seen everything there is to see I don't know if that's true or not I hope it's not okay this wow let's get up and let's dump stuff in our storage Starting with resources. Let's go my inventory. Resources. Store all resources. And then we'll go through here and just store heavy stuff. I'm keeping these. Don't need this other space helmet. Oh, I bet you Sarah would like this. I'm going to give this to Sarah. She likes laser stuff. Alien genetic material. Look how cool that looks. Can be consumed to greatly increase combat effectiveness or used in experimental crafting and research. Ah. Oh, here's an instigating eon. This does physical damage. Oh, look how zoomed in it is. Okay, we'll put that away. Milk. And then we've got some... Um, aid down here. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm gonna give Sarah this furious calibrated solstice. Hey, uh, Sarah. I got something for you. Sarah? Step away from the navigation table. Something you need? Yeah, let's trade gear. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Oh, I think you're gonna like this. Weapons? Here, take this. Okay, we gave that to her. And then we'll switch back to Sarah. And I'm going to take Lawgiver and the Urban Eagle from her. She's not going to use those. Okay, so she's got two energy weapons. Goodbye. Goodbye. And then I'm going to go back to my ship. And I'm going to transfer. 
And I'm going to switch to my inventory. I'm going to go to weapons. Uh, I mean... I mean, I've already got the mouse, the Maelstrom and the Grendel. I could run around with this pistol. Or this rifle, just in case. But we both know that I'm not going to use those, so... We'll do that. Okay. This is exciting. Let's go out here. This landing area. Check out this side of the planet. And see if we can't do some more scanning. Captain Fox. Hello. I am satisfied oh. to see that you survived Ooh. your most recent sleep. You know what? You make a good point. Several people have... But this ship is starting to feel like home. Uh -huh. Several people have told me that I should sleep. Can I just sleep for one hour? Will it be enough? Let's see. It's about time. You awaken feeling well rested. So it's a little bit of a boost, I believe. Even though we only slept for an hour. Uh, how do I... Status B. Well rested. Plus 10% experience gain. Okay. I need to remember to do that. I mean, it's free experience points. I mean, and all I had to do was lay down for an hour, and now I'm going to get extra experience points for, I think, the next 24 hours. Please disregard. I attempted an <laughs> informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately... It's looking like I'm just seeing the same creatures over here. Yeah, that's disappointing. Ooh, an unknown in this direction. Those are always exciting. Let's scan it. Natural, it says. That did not seem to increase my survey percent over there. You know, I really... This is annoying. Sarah's standing way over there. And I was trying to look over there and it said Sarah Morgan. It's like, if she's anywhere near me, and I have the scanner out, it's going to focus on her. Is this, like, a big tantalum field? On the ground here? Obviously, I can't do that. Over there. See? It said Sarah Morgan. Look, it says Sarah Morgan. It's so annoying. Get away from me, Sarah. Okay, another unknown. Apparently I do not need to scan those anymore, but I do need to find another trait of this planet. Something natural over there. There's the fracking station. But I'm not seeing any new fauna or flora right off. Which is disappointing. But we're going to go ahead and head over this fracking station. It doesn't say that it's abandoned. So I'm actually not sure what my intents are over here. Here's something we haven't scanned. An Aurora Palm. Water. Can't scan or can't mine water. Over here we got a cliff berry. Okay, so now we're starting to see some new stuff. I'm gonna go with vegetable. Okay, good. We're in a different biome. This is good. Here we've got some uh, aluminum. Uh, there's a critter. Oh, Pack Ankylosaurus. Oh, jeez. I'm just trying to be cautious here. Over here we've got some more aluminum. Of music. Is this a different cliff berry? Nice, we're at 25%. Here we've got another Aurora Palm. Over here, more cliff berry. 
I went to school with a cliff, Barry. <laughs> Iron. Okay, this is new. Cliff Laurel. Yeah, I went to school with a cliff Laurel, too. Okay, all kinds of stuff. Nice. It says resource fiber. Does that mean I could get something from this? So like if I were to chop it down? Or shoot it? Well, I don't have any uh, melee weapons, Sandy. A little bit of iron here. Okay, what's this right here? So here we've got a med pack, some sealants. Why is it okay if I take that? Oh, it's obviously abandoned. It's just laying here. What's that? I really like how this feels like a completely different planet. Um, you know, I mean, you travel around Earth would be very different depending on where you are on Earth. And I think, at least the last time I played No Man's Sky, it seemed like no matter which side of the planet you landed on, the whole planet was basically the same. Now, they could have very well changed that since the last time I played, since they made so many improvements on that game. Okay. Um... I don't know where that Ankylosaurus went to. Got another Aurora Palm over here. I really like this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> digging it. I'm really digging it. Fracking station. Who owns this fracking station? You see we got 22 experience points instead of the normal 20. Because of our restfulness I don't know what that is over there gosh I love the sound effects this is kind of fantastic the music is I think spectacular uh oh we got a robot walking around over there Industrial Robot Model A. So he's not going to harm me, I don't think. A little bit more Cliff Berry. Over here, some more Cliff Laurel. <laughs> Uh-oh. I saw something big moving around over there. Oh yeah, some kind of creature over there. Well, you know, I ran away from that ankylosaur. I need to scan it. It's like I kind of forgot for a moment. There's got to be something useful out here. Got to be. Right now I'm going crazy scanning this stuff. What's this over here? Some dude's walking around. Oh, that, that would be a great scanning opportunity. Since there's so many of them over there. Let's go. Well, I was going to go to the building first, but 
I don't know if or when I'll see another group of these guys together. Okay. Good, 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 good. They are not going to hurt me. I don't know why I put my scanner away. Okay. Okay, so these guys... Now that guy over there... No, he's also... Oh, we should be able to scan these real quick, except for the fact that... Well... They're defensive. I understand. It's okay. I, I'm defensive too sometimes. I just want to scan you. Oh, this is great. I love how they're all close together like this. 100%. Okay, we don't have to worry about them anymore. We're at f four of seven fauna. Oh. Huh. What's this? What's that mean? What's that red icon mean? See how this is just green? With like a heartbeat. And then there's this one. With some kind of red icon. Oh, that means he's injured. Whoa. Oh, talk on it. I need to remap my keys. I think I got them set wrong. <laughs> they all get up at the exact same time. I think there's something... A beetle filter. Okay, I already scanned that. I think. Did I? It's almost like they're guarding this beetle. I don't really want to get into a fight with you guys. I just want to scan this guy now. 13% scan. Great. Now, so now, now I gotta scan these beetle things. <laughs> okay. You know... I mean, there's a little bit of a challenge to this. You know, you gotta... At least, if you're me... Whoa, what's this? I'm trying not to, um get eaten by these things. Holy cow, it got dark fast. Wow. I was abrupt. Holy mackerel. Look at that view. Oh. Yes. Well, let's see. This guy's dead. What do we get from him? Ornamental stuff? Don't know if I care about that. What's this red over here? What's this? A vein of tantalum, it looks like? Okay. Oh, this is fantastic. Man. Now I know... A little bit more of what I need to scan. These pack ankylosaurus. Is he dead? Who killed him? Oh no, he's not dead. He's just injured. Okay. I misread that. He's only a level 5, so I'm not too worried about him. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to eat that. <laughs> What? That's how we do things on Jemison. Um, Sarah, we're not on Jemison. Are you aware of this? see anybody else to scan right nearby. Oh. Oh, we looted him already. <laughs> huh. Atacrone. Interesting. This would... I would be stealing if I took this according to that icon. How am I supposed to know that? I guess because... This is part of the fracking station? I mean, this iron that's here. Is this stealing? It's 
just outside. They're not fracking iron. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the building now. Let's check it out. It's kind of breathtaking. Let's see what this place is. Probably another place that belongs to somebody. Methane. Huh, I can't scan these plants. Hm. Oh, there's a person over here. Uh-oh. Friend or foe? Are they not showing up? Are they just some regular dudes walking around? I guess they're just some regular dudes. A six sisters minor? Okay, let's go say hi. Let's hit F5 first. Where'd they go? Where did they go? Hey. What are you doing? Just walking around out here? Hello. We may not employ particle detonations all day, but there's always work to do here. Am I ever glad to see you? Oh. We need your help. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Crimson Fleet scum have been taken a bite out of our mining contracts. We're barely making enough to survive. They're not far from here, but we're not cut out for that kind of combat. Think you could take care of them? <laughs> Gladly. The pirates will never know what hit them. I needed some target practice. Sounds like a win-win. Or I can't. You'll have to find someone else. Oh, those pirates will never know what hit them. Thank you so much. Please be careful. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Oh, there she goes. Well, let's, um... <laughs> let's take a look at that mission. That's right up my alley. Pirate activity. Six sisters miners on Tal Seti 8B are being harassed by a group of Crimson Fleet pirates who run their operations from a camp nearby. They must be stopped before things get out of hands. Yeah. Let's see. Pirate activity. It's over there somewhere. 832 meters in that direction. Right. Oh, over there close to our ship. Well, yeah, a little f well further than our ship. Our ship's not even 400 meters away. Can I go in this place? Hey, I just want to check it out. Oh, plop. Oh, it looks really neat. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to steal things that don't belong to me. Oh, there's a note here. Oh no, there's not. I give up. What? I give up. <laughs> Somebody gave up. <laughs> okay, how do I get in here? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably not from jumping on top of it. Here it is. Here's the entrance. Ooh. Mission board. Control console. Control console. Wow, it's very bright in here. Who's this guy? If I run out of gummy bugs, there's going to be a riot. Hey, what's up, provisioner? Got some decent stuff in stock. Ooh. Feel free to browse. Um, how do you like this job? It's not my dream job, but it beats the hell out of my last gig. I used to work for Xenofresh. Slinging chasm bass makes working at an outpost like this look like a luxury job. Chasm bass, huh? Um, what do you think of your supervisor? What? <laughs> what am I doing, a survey? Total hard ass. We've had a ton of turnover already, and it's only been a few weeks since we set up shop. We'll lose the whole crew if the supervisor doesn't cool it. Myself included. Nobody likes working overtime. They sure don't. Can I ask him this again? It's not my dream job, but okay. Slinging chasm. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is still showing up as white. Uh, well, let's see what you have for sale. 
You have credits, I have merchandise. Let's see what he's got. Well, he's selling one weapon. It's a cutter, <laughs> of which he has four. He is selling some packs. Deep Core Power Pack, Deimos Power Pack, Deimos Skip Pack. He's selling some clothes. Can't say I'm interested in any of that. He's got some aid. He's got some resources. Not interested, dude. Not interested at all. But can I interest you in some of the crap I'm carrying around? Do I have anything that I want to sell to him? Some heavy stuff I might want to get rid of. I mean, not really. I don't want to give him these resources I've been picking up. Okay, I'm not going to sell him anything either. This is a not fruit to full exchange. Well, gotta go. Bye. Bye. Well, I gotta go too. Time for me to end this episode. When we come back next time, uh, I'm gonna walk over here and take a look at uh, these control consoles and this mission board. And then we will head off to kill... Well, we'll explore this place. And then we'll head off to kill some scummy pirates. It's gonna be great! <laughs> well, I'm having a blast playing this game. I hope you're having fun watching me play it. If you are, won't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you join me again in the next episode.